get started. I'm just gonna throw on some of my NYX fat oil. I love this stuff. It makes my lips feel so good and that's what we need right now. So I already did my lashes off camera. I think the goal for right now is I'm just gonna pretty much do my makeup like I normally would. And then I think kind of like mix it up a little bit, but not too much. I don't, it's hard to explain. I will show you guys. We're gonna just start off by priming the face. I already did all of my um, skincare and everything and it's been sitting on my skin for like probably over an hour or two. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with our primer starting off with my elf sun touchable always love putting this on because it has the spf but it also gives like such a nice little glow to the skin as well and then i will actually take my elf poreless primer and i'll actually just take a little bit of that and go right here where my pores seem to be the most annoying this is where like makeup usually will set and I'm also gonna throw a little bit on top of these pimples because the goal is to really get those covered up. We're gonna let this sit on the skin for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my concealer. Probably gonna do a more, I don't know which one, maybe my Kosas or my Milani Conceal Imperfect. And then I'm thinking of, even though I'm wearing a blue outfit a lot of those like cosplays they usually have like a really pink look so i figured i would do like a kind of pinkish corally color and just see how that looks on our skin um if i want to add anything else to it i will but i think i'm gonna probably just do that because i feel like it could look really cute and i feel like sometimes i'm not even gonna lie i feel very draggy like drag queen looking if i do like blues and stuff like that so i'm gonna just do two dots over my pimples for now and then i always start off like this with my concealer so i'm just gonna pretty much start things how i normally would and then see where we're gonna go from there so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my concealer. I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect in medium beige. But I do feel like this can get a little bit warm looking sometimes. Like it doesn't necessarily oxidize, but it can get a little bit warm. It's good if you want to do like more of a like foundation kind of color. Because you know sometimes if you use a concealer that's like the same color as your foundation, it could look really nice and natural. But if you want to actually like lighten up under the eyes, I would say like going a little bit lighter. But I also do think that I've kind of lost a little bit of my skin tone. I've definitely gotten a little bit um, lighter, which is crazy because the summer was here and now it's fall and somehow I'm lighter now. I don't know. But I am going to take this lighter one. On my nose this is the 150 from the Maybelline eraser because I really want my nose to be nice and bright like especially down the center I'm just gonna kind of like press that in it doesn't have to be exact because we are gonna put um, foundation over it but just to kind of get it going. And then I think for the sake of having like a nice clear eye look, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the foundation, or I can't even speak, a little bit of the concealer and put that on my eyes as well to just give me a nice clean base to work with. And then we can get started on. I think I wanna do the eyes first, so that way if anything gets messed up, I could just take it off and not have to take off all of my like foundation and all that jazz i think i'm gonna start off with a brown just because like i always do a brown so i'm gonna take this hazel color very light amount on the brush this is from the dominique cosmetics coral blossom palette because i need to have like a good transition shade i feel like i can't just go straight into the coral right away because i don't know i just feel like it's not my jam so we're just gonna put a little bit of a transition face but it's literally the tiniest amount on our brush I'm gonna take these lashes off tomorrow because they're way too long 
to be like my normal lash but I just felt like this would be a better option than doing like strip lashes because I can make them look more dramatic and just be a little bit more like what I'm looking for all right so now I'm gonna go into blooming beauty and we're gonna put a lot more on here than we did with the brown and we're basically going to take this and put it on our lid and bring it into our crease just a bit if you can see that here so lid and then kind of bringing it into our brown crease color those inner corner ones can be kind of painful I'm not even gonna lie I'm not used to putting like really long lashes in the inner corner but because I was doing like a look like this I did but oh girl I have a little blush palette here from BH Cosmetics. This is the classic blush 10 color palette. I'm just going to take this really bright pink and I'm also going to put it on the lid and just kind of like blend it in here. Because we're also going to be putting a little bit of a sparkle on top. But we really want to give it like that pinky, very like anime sweetsy look. Perf. And then... I think what I'm actually going to take is this Lottie highlighter that I got. This is called the Diamond Bounce Illuminating Powder Highlight in Golden. Look at this, you guys. Tell me that is not an insane highlighter. It's so pretty and it's so sheer. It's literally just this. So I feel like this would look really good on top because that's what a lot of these looks do is they do a very pink look with like a shimmery color on top to kind of keep it just like sweetsy so I feel like that's what I'm gonna do here and it's okay to get it like outside of the lid space I feel like I'm also gonna do just like a tiny bit in the crease just not like super dramatic in the crease if that makes sense so oh I think this is gonna be so perfect so pretty I was honestly gonna do like a blue and gold kind of look but then I was like I don't really want to do that I want to do something that's like kind of sweetsy I know I keep saying sweetsy I don't even know if that's the word for it but I just think it's gonna look so cute like this so the thing that makes these look the most intense is the fact that they do like the crazy liner so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little tiny brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown hazel color and I'm just gonna go right here under the eye because I don't know if you guys have seen those looks where they kind of do under the eye and then they put like a lighter color in there I want it to just make the eye look bigger not to make it look like I have um, like dark circles under my eyes so I'm not going like all the way down to where my eye fat like creases but I do want it to like be a little bit noticeable. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to take this light like nude colored eyeliner and just go like right under that. under my lash line but above where I put that brown do you guys see it because this is supposed to like help make the eyes look a little bit bigger and then when you draw on the um, eyeliner that's what gives it the more like anime look I don't know we're just we're winging it here we're just going with it so work with me my darlings okay now for the hard part which is the eyeliner I'm really scared for this but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take gonna draw like right under that and then I think I'm gonna do like that and I feel like we could even do the top a little bit thicker since the lashes are like so intense practice on this eye and then I'll come back to show you guys this eye so that we can make sure or maybe I'll practice on this side come back and show you guys this side because this might be a little bit easier for me to show you guys because I'm just not feeling the way I did this eyeliner so 
I'll be back. Okay guys, I think I figured it out. So this is what I'm gonna do. I pretty much stuck my lower lashes together. I did a little bit of like the lower liner and then swooped it outward. I'm gonna keep it simple for now. I'm gonna see if the rest of the like blush and all that makes it look a lot more like anime like, but so far I feel like this has kind of made my eye look a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did on the other side. So first things first is I did take that hazel color and I put it right here and went about like halfway through. And then over here I just kind of blended a little bit of that Oh, I did put like a goldish color in my inner corner. Then I took my light pencil like I showed you guys and I just did it right under here. Cool. So that it kind of gets lighted, lighted, lightened up. And then I'm using the same palette. So I put this one in my inner corner. It's Mariposa. And then I'm putting Free Escape right here where I put that lighter colored uh, liner just to kind of set it and make it a little bit more flesh tone without making it look like I have eye bags. You'll see what I mean. I actually used a little bit of a thinner liner to help draw out the line and then I used my waterproof. So basically what I did was I did something that kind of went downward and then straight rather than my like normal upward one. Do you guys see that? So if I was to do liner see how it's kind of like going downward it's gonna look a little bit messy right now and that's totally fine because I need to make sure that it looks pretty much the same then this waterproof one I really hope this is like a good video for you guys I feel so stressed and then I took it from where that one basically ended and I drew it right under the light line. So see how it kind of like makes it look like a bigger eye now? So I pretty much just went, you see where it's like coming out from the bottom and down? I pretty much did that. I think that's pretty much even. guys how I did the lower mascara so basically you're gonna put mascara on your lashes and then I just took little tweezers and I basically just squished them together to make little points now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of our face and then see if we like this. I don't know if I like it 100% yet, but it definitely did make it look like I have bigger eyes, so I'll take that for now. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do my skincare for, or I'm gonna do my um, foundation first, which I don't normally do, but I did want it to be easier for me to put blush everywhere, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this um, e.l.f. I can't even think of what this is called. Halo Glow. And then I'm gonna spray a tiny bit on my face. I forgot to get my beauty sponge wet, so I'm just spraying it with my setting spray and just getting it all juicy so that I can blend this part in. I want my face to have a little bit of a glow, which I guess technically I didn't need to use this because I could use my Mario foundation tonight, but oh well. Now I'm just going to like lightly go over the little concealer dots I made. Don't want to like blend them out per se, but just kind of lightly go over them. I think I am just going to do my normal foundation to be honest. But we are going to put a little bit more than we normally put because I want it to be a little bit more like done up for Halloween. So just 
taking my makeup by Mario brush and I'm just kind of setting everything into the face this is such a lightweight foundation which by the way I didn't show you guys I'm just went using the L'Oreal true match the color 23 light pale and I really like this one because it's super hydrating and it just looks so nice on the skin like it doesn't look heavy or caked on or like too much it's honestly one of my favorite ones to wear I really do need to put something a little bit stronger because it doesn't really look like it's covering too much um, down here so it looks like I kind of wiped off some of that so I am gonna take a little bit of the makeup by Mario foundation and just kind of like press it into my skin I don't normally wear this much um, like foundation and stuff anymore because it's just not my jam I'm not really a huge fan but I figured for Halloween we will do that so I'm gonna start off with my uh, pixie on the glow blush in the color fleur it's a very nice pink blush and I feel like I need to just get it like here here and here blend out some of this blush and I think the plan is just like really pack on a pink blush because I feel like that's what a lot of these like anime cosplay type things do is they pack on a crap ton of this pink blush all over like pretty much across the nose and right here too and then I'm actually gonna layer it with a lighter blush as well just so that it is super pink and blushy it's not normally done I feel like with those little like anime pinky looks but your girl can't go without some kind of a contour so I'm just gonna do a little bit on my face that was a lot <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna do a little bit it's kind of a lot I feel like I need to make it more noticeable though so I'm gonna take this kind of like contour shade and contour our nose a little bit next I'm just gonna set my face so that I can set some of this um, craziness I have going on here I'm just gonna do a little bit of a set don't want to do too too much but I do want to make sure that I set my little pimples mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay I think the next step is to kind of just darken up our brows a little bit so that they have a little bit more shape to them just taking like a really light almost like contour shade and just really pressing that into my brows I'm gonna take some highlight just using this little benefit or no sorry the balm the balm biage highlight and I'm just gonna get my nose mm -hmm. you really want like an intense little highlight on the tip of your nose because then I'm actually gonna take some of that Lottie one as well just to add a little bit of like a gold highlight here so here's what it looks like right now I don't know 
I guess we have to see what it looks like with like the whole costume on because right now I just feel like it's very whatever but I don't know maybe if I just start adding some of my own stuff to it I'll like it a little bit more because right now I'm not a huge fan so I am going to contour or sorry bronze up my big old forehead because I will be having my hair up so I don't want to have like this huge ass forehead <laughs> just popping out here well I couldn't find the white eyeliner that I was looking for to like try to make this look cute but I did do a lip combo off of camera and I used the LA girl lip liner in nutmeg and then I put the cashmere silk in buttercream from hard candy and then I did a little bit of this um, eyeshadow just in the center and I feel like the pinky colors kind of looked cute with it but I also thought it would be good to throw some freckles on so I'm just using my Lottie freckle tint and what I'm gonna do this is the easiest way I learned how to do freckles so that it looks real you place it and you just take your finger and you start to kind of move it around so place looks like that finger we'll splatter it all around can you guys even see them they're very subtle but I think very cute and can really make this look so cute and then I thought it would be a good idea to just glue some little gems on our face so I was thinking like three little gems that could be cute they are just so cute to add a little something to your look So here is pretty much what I've got so far. Um, I put little gems. Oh, let me just show you guys. I took out my hair because I was going to put it in the little hair things, but I don't think it's time yet. So I put the little gems here. I did three on each side. Then I did one in each inner corner. This is pretty much what it looks like for now. I'll kind of just like go with the flow. Once I have the outfit on, I'll really know if this is like how I want to do it. But until then, we're just going to say this is it. I think this is the look, which is actually pretty crazy because I normally do something like super intense for Halloween, but I don't know. I think we're gonna leave it like this for right now and then I will come back and show you guys once I have everything on you guys you guys how fucking dope is this how dope is this Chun-Li fit I fucking love it I look so cute and I even tried really hard to do quads so I could look like Chun Li. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, this is my fit. I love it. This is the makeup. I tried to do like big, like anime eyes. Meh, wasn't really doing it. But do you guys love it, or do you guys? Love